Hey, first period, what's up? It's Miss Mac with your Of Mice and Men chapter two preview. All right, so before you read or listen to the chapter, here's what you need to know. So our setting, George and Lenny finally make it to the ranch and they go into the bunkhouse, which is where they're gonna sleep because they get a place to sleep, they get food and they get pay with this job every week. And the bunkhouse is basically just a big room with eight bunks and the men sleep there and then go to work all day. And they meet a whole bunch of new characters and it can be a little confusing. So you can listen to this video or I have a chart in your slides that can help you. So the first person that they meet is the boss and we don't get a name for him he's just the boss and we only meet him in chapter two we never meet him again and we hear that he's fair but kind of strict and George lies and says that he and Lenny are related and he also says that Lenny got kicked in the head with a horse which is why Lenny isn't too bright but he says Lenny's really strong incredibly strong and so the boss says you know okay and they off they go to work um next they meet Candy who is an old man. And I'm actually gonna have my assistant help me with this part, this guy in our house. So I don't have any pictures of them. You can watch the video later if you want the movie. All right, so Candy, he's like super old. So I'm gonna hunch him over because he's old. Uh, there he goes, here's Candy. He's just like an old dude. He's also missing a hand. So just like pretend, there we go. That hand's not there anymore. So Candy, whoa oh good. So Han Candy is, um, he's worked on the ranch forever. He's called a swamper. So basically he's like a custodian. He cleans up after the men, he does little chores, and he also has a super old dog. And he lost his hand on the ranch, which is why he still has a job there. And basically he likes to gossip. Like he spends his time just kind of wandering around all day cleaning. So as soon as George and Lenny get there, get there, he like tells them everything that's going on, who's who, and he definitely becomes like a valuable resource to them. All right, our next character is Curly. Now, Curly is the boss's son. And Curly is short. I wish I could make this guy shorter here. He's pretty short and he likes to fight. So I'm gonna make him like, put him up. He's like, come at me, bro. So Curly is this little guy and he wears little high heel boots and he has curly hair and he comes running into the bunkhouse basically and is like looking around and immediately goes after Lenny and is like, what are you looking at? And poor Lenny is so confused. He doesn't know what's happening. He's like, what? And eventually Curly leaves and George is like, what is that guy's deal? And here Candy, the old guy, kind of fills him in as like, oh yeah, Curly likes to fight and he's actually a boxer, like a, a lightweight boxer, but he loves to pick fights, especially with big guys. Because if he gets beaten up by a big guy, it's like, whatever, it was, the guy was bigger. But then if he beats up the big guy, it's like, wow, Curly beat up a guy bigger than him. So basically he just goes around and picks fights with everyone else and wants to kind of pick a fight with Lenny. So George tells Lenny like, you stay away from him, don't do anything. You know, we're not getting in trouble here. We're trying to raise some money, have our dream. And Lenny's like pretty nervous about it. He, again, is so gentle, even though he could destroy Curly easily. He just does not want any fights at all. He wants to get his rabbits on the, on the ranch. Um, okay, so next character. We learned that Curly just got married and that character is Curly's wife. She never gets a name. She's just the wife and she's, she's pretty young. I wanna say she's between 17 and 20 years old. Like she's a young girl. Um, and she is beautiful and you'll see there's a paragraph on how she dresses, but she, especially even the way she stands is like kind of, see if I can do it. Oh yeah. You know, she just kind of, she's a pretty girl. She wears dresses. She kind of likes to flirt. Um, so she's kind of, you know, maybe she'd like cock her hip out a little bit like, Hey boys. That's what she does. She just kind of comes in and she, she chats, <laughs> she chats with all the guys. Hi. And what Candy says about her is that one, she's a tart, which means basically she's a slut, basically is what he's saying, which isn't very nice. He's spreading gossip about her. And then also that she has the eye, meaning that she kind of like checks out other guys and she flirts with other guys. And this makes Curly really even angrier and jealous and that he says he has ants in his pants or he gets so jealous about his wife. So we see her come in and actually talk to Lenny and George and Lenny immediately is like, she's pretty, he likes her and he sees the way she's dressed and she kind of flirts with him a little bit. So not only does George have to yell at Lenny about staying away from Curly, but he also kind of has to sit, tell him to stay away from Curly's wife just because Lenny is like mouth open admiring this this young woman. And all the other men seem to kind of not like her. They think she'll get him in, them in trouble with Curly's because he is the boss's son, right? So they don't want to mess with his wife. Um, then we have a couple more characters. 
Slim is the jerkline skinner. So he has a really important job on the ranch. He handles driving the cattle and things like that. And he like is just, he stands up straight, great posture. He is just like respected on the ranch. Like people look to him, they listen, he listens to them. George immediately trusts him and tells him about his background with Lenny. So Slim is just like in charge. He knows what to do and he becomes an important character throughout the novel. He also seems to be the one person that Curly like doesn't want to mess with. Slim seems to have like a bit of power on the ranch. And then the last quick character is this guy named Carlson. And Carlson's just like complaining so far. I mean, he doesn't seem like a major complainer, but his thing now, I'm just, he's like up in arms, right? He's yelling about something. His major complaint is that Candy's dog is super old and smells. The entire bunkhouse smells like this old dog. So he's like, we need to put the dog down. And Slim's dog, we learned, just had puppies. So he says, let's give him Candy one of Slim's new puppies, and then he won't be so sad about his old dog. And then Lenny, because we know that Lenny really wants a puppy and George promised him a puppy, Lenny gets all excited because he's like, oh my gosh, can I have a puppy too? So that's where we leave off with chapter two, is we meet all these new people. We don't know what's gonna happen with Candy's dog. We don't know what's gonna happen with the dream or with Curly, but we have some potential conflicts and we have a whole bunch of new people. So feel free to rewatch this before you do your homework. And there's plenty of other videos and notes and I hope you enjoy it. And hopefully I'll see you at office hours or let me know if you have any questions.